First and foremost, um, I'd like to thank Post 2342 uh, for yet again bringing a community together on Veterans Day and on all these on all the other days and holidays when we recognize our veterans and when we recognize those who've lost their lives as well as those who um, are still with us. So we are grateful to Commander Viola for never letting this community forget. I just can't help but think though, I don't know this to be the case in all communities. I know that in Fort Lee, our veterans have an absolute voice. They are mobilized, they are respected. Um, government recognizes their accomplishments and their critical, critical um, contributions that they make to our community. So from government standpoint, we're very proud here in Fort Lee that we have these events and we're grateful to the Post for making sure that these events continue to be mobilized. And I can assure you that government will make sure and do everything possible to make sure that these events will continue in the future. They must because we can never ever forget. Just interestingly, just a little history, Veterans Day, as you all know, is an annual United States holiday honoring military veterans. Federal holiday, it is observed on November 11. It's also celebrated as Armistice Day or Remembrance Day in other parts of the world falls on November 11 of each year, and it's the anniversary of the signing of the armistice that ended World War I. Interestingly, all major ho hostilities of World War I were formally ended on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918, with Germany signing the armistice. I think that said was the President of the United States then in 1919, Woodrow Wilson, from the state of New Jersey, the great state of New Jersey, who proclaimed the holiday and made the following statement, which I will all read to you. It's brief, but very telling. To us in America, the reflections of Armistice Day, today Veterans Day, but the reflections of Armistice Day will be filled with lots of pride in the heroism of those who died in the country's service, and with gratitude for the victory, both because of the thing from which it has freed us and because of the opportunity it has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the councils of the nations. And I think what's important, and I will leave you with this, Veterans Day is for all veterans, to take pride, to reflect, and to, to remember. And it's not for those that lost, also that lost their lives, but those that survived that war that have had to live with their experiences for the rest of their lives. We've always considered the members of this post to be one of the most important parts of our community. We will continue to do so. God bless our veterans. Thank you for coming, and God bless Fort Lee. Thank you, Mark. At this time, I would like Commander Jim Bio to come up and say a few words. I would like to acknowledge the people that are in the audience. First of all, I would like to thank Police Chief Thomas Rapoli. Every time we have an occasion for me,